and welcome to part three of my Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial series, how to make a follower mod like Lucian Flavius. Now so far we've created our character and built him a custom follower framework. He's got six lines of unique dialogue, but at the moment it's all silent. In this episode, we're going to give him a voice! So to start with, fire up the Creation Kit and load your mod file. Here we are, JR12 tutorial follower. So select it and press set as active file, then hit OK. Now you've got to wait for it to load up, and while we're waiting, why not take the opportunity to subscribe to the channel? And if you'd like to talk to me about this sort of thing live, follow me on Twitch, where I host workshops every Thursday to answer all your modding questions. And here we are, so now it's loaded up, click your show only active forms button, or use your filter with your prefix, go up to quests, select quest, and here's our quest we created last time. So open that up. Here we are. Now here are the dialogue topics we created before, and we're going to start with the top one, JR12 Jacuzzi Follower Dismiss. So if you double click on the text here, it'll open up the topic info box again, and then double click on the response text here. Now it's time to do some recording, so make sure you're all set up with your microphone and your pop filter, put a good few inches between your mouth and the microphone, and try and perform the line as though you're saying it to someone over there, just behind your monitor. Don't just read the words out, but rather try and use them as a guide for what you need to tell that imaginary person. Don't be afraid to improvise if you think of something better, you can always change the written dialogue afterwards. Now for this bit I've jumped into my octagon in the corner as I thought it might be helpful for you to be able to see my face as we record. It does mean it's much harder for me to hide cuts when I mess things up, so wish me luck! Anyway, if you look down into the audio section at the bottom of the edit response window, you'll find all the stuff to do with the sound. Now here we have the specific line, and in the voice type column you can see our voice type we created, JR12 Jacuzzi Voice. Here we've got ends, which are for the different types of file associated with this sound, so currently we have no files there, so they're all N. Now there's two ways you can go about recording this line, and the first is to do it here through the creation kit. So to do that, click record, and then just perform it. This one will see you again soon, yes? So click done when you're finished, and now if you want to listen back to that, you can press preview. This one will see you again soon, yes? Now you'll probably have noticed there was quite a significant delay between me hitting preview and the sound actually playing, and that's because when we hit record, I didn't instantly start talking. There was a gap there while I got myself ready. Now this is a major disadvantage of recording in the creation kit, which is why I recommend actually doing it in Audacity separately, which I'll show you in just one second. Anyway, if you're doing it this way, once you're done you just need to hit save, and then you'll see all these ends have turned to Y's, which means it's generated the sound file and the lip sync file for this line. So you're all done! So just press OK. Do bear in mind, none of that will have worked if you're on the 64-bit creation kit and you aren't using Newchem's creation kit fixes. You need to have that installed in order for this whole lip sync generation thing to be able to function. So if you don't know how to install that, go back to part zero where I showed you how to set everything up. So I thought it was worth quickly jumping in game just to show you how this currently sounds. So here's Jacuzzi, let's go up to him and choose the line in question. It's time for us to part ways. Again soon, yes? So you'll notice two things, there was that delay before and after the line from the fact that we didn't start speaking the moment we clicked record and click done the moment we finished speaking, and also the line was really quiet. Now both of these things we can fix in Audacity, so let me show you how. Start by opening Audacity up from wherever you installed it to in part zero. Then when it's loaded, the first thing to check is that the project rate, down here in the bottom left of the screen, is set to 44,100 Hz, which is the rate Skyrim recognises. Then go up here to your microphone settings, and make sure you've selected the microphone you want to record with, and that it's recording in mono. If that's done, go up here, where it says click to start monitoring, and click, and this will start to show you your microphone level. Now the important thing here is that when you're talking as loudly as you're likely to in the mod, it doesn't enter the red region. So just to demonstrate, NEVER SHOULD HAVE COME HERE! Do you see, that just started to creep up into the red, and that was just louder than I would likely ever say, so I'm pretty happy with that. 
Don't worry about it necessarily being too quiet on the other hand, so long as it's not ridiculously low, because we'll bring that volume level up later. When that's all set up, we're ready to start recording, so to my octagon I go! When you're ready, click this red recording button, which will start it going. Now tab over to the creation kit, don't worry, it'll keep recording in the background, and let's work through all of these lines in one batch. This one will see you again soon, yes? Certainly. What would you like this one to do? This one will follow gladly. Certainly. Let us trade. Kajid will be right behind you. Kajid will wait. And there we are, they're all recorded. Now we need to export each of these lines individually, so take a look at your waveform, try and find the bit that looks like the line you want, and click in the bar above it just before it starts. This one will see you again soon, yes? Now, apart from the slightly questionable Khajiit accent, that sounds pretty good to me. So hold control and zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel to make it nice and big. Now, moving your mouse into the center of the track, click and drag to highlight the whole thing. Now, if you press play, this one will see you again soon, yes? It plays back just your selection, and you want to make this as tight as possible around the audio. So if you see, if you move your mouse close to the edge, it turns into that little pointy hand, and you can use that to tweak the edges of the selection box, just to make it tight, to make sure we've got none of that weird delay when the sound starts and ends. This one will see you again soon, yes? So play it just to make sure you've not accidentally cut anything off, and when you're happy with it, Go to File, and press Export Selected Audio. Now you want to create a new folder just to save this audio in, so press New Folder up here, and we're going to call this Tutorial Audio, but you can of course call it whatever you want. And in here, name it something intelligent, so I'm going to call this Jacuzzi Part Ways would of course help if I spelled jacuzzi right. Now under save as type, you want this to be a WAV signed 16-bit PCM. So that's this one here. That is the kind that Skyrim recognizes. And if you've done that, just press save. Now you're going to want to repeat this for all of the lines we recorded in that batch. Certainly. What would you like this one to do? So again, just drag and select. Zoom in. Make it nice and tight. File. Export selected audio. Jacuzzi. Do something. And repeat for all the lines we've got there. Now for the sound files to play at the correct time, they need to have a very specific name, so go back to the creation kit and open up the first line of dialogue. Now down in the audio section you'll see voice file name, which is the specific name your audio file needs to have to be associated with this dialogue response. So highlight all of this, right click, and select copy, because we're going to need this in a minute. Now go to your Skyrim directory, which is under Steam, Steam Apps Common, Skyrim Special Edition, or just Skyrim. Then select Data, Sound, Voice. Now in here, your audio is grouped into folders based on which ESP they're associated with. So I've got JR12TutorialFollower.esp, which is the exact name of my ESP. You'll need to create one with the same name as your ESP. Inside that, you'll need to create a folder with the same name as the voice type of the NPC who's going to be saying this line. So here we've got JR12 Jacuzzi Voice, and inside that is where the audio needs to go. So in another window, open up the folder where you put all that audio you recorded before. Select all these lines, hold Control, and drag them over to copy them into this directory. Now let's go to that Jacuzzi Part Ways line, click on it again to rename it, and then Control and V to paste in that name the file needed to have to be recognized by the CK. Press enter, and there we go, it's renamed. So now we can go back to the creation kit, press OK on this line, and when we open it up again, 
you'll see these two entries have now changed to Y, which means it's recognised that WAV file. Now we need to make our character's lips move when he says the line. So go down to the bottom of the window, click on the line here, select from WAV, and click generate lip. Now if we have a look back in the Skyrim directory, you'll see we've generated a new file here with the same name as the WAV, which is a lip file. So this is the file which contains the lip sync for your character. Rename the rest of the audio files in the same way, generating their lips, and we're ready to move on. Now you'll remember that when we tested that first line of dialogue in game, it was way too quiet. So to sort that out, we're going to need to use two techniques, which are compression and normalization. Compression takes those loud parts of your dialogue and the soft parts of your dialogue and squishes them together a bit so that you can allow your volume to vary mid-sentence without having to worry about the player still being able to hear you. Normalization, on the other hand, takes all your different lines and brings their volume up to the same level so that your whispers and your shouts are all audible in-game. To do this, open up Audacity again and go to File, Import, Audio. Now, you'll need to find your renamed audio files again within the Skyrim directory, so that's under Data, Sound, Voice, your ESP name, your voice type, and here they all are. Now you can select them by clicking and pressing Ctrl and A to highlight everything, then press Open. So now they're importing into Audacity, and when that's done, go up to Effect here at the top and select Compressor. Now the settings I'm using here come from an excellent article on Reddit by Fading Signal, which I've linked in the description below. Copy these and then press OK. So this has now compressed all the audio files. You only need to do this once. You don't want to do it twice or it'll compress more than you're supposed to. Anyway, then go up to Effect and select Normalize. Now check Remove DC Offset and also Normalize Maximum Amplitude 2. Now the more negative this number is, the quieter the sounds will be. Zero is the maximum you can have without any distortion. Fading Signal recommends setting this to minus four, but in practice, I find this to be a little bit too quiet. So personally, I prefer to go with minus three, but have a play around yourself, see what sounds right to you. When you've set that, press okay. And now you'll see all these lines have become much louder as it's normalized them all. Now we're done messing around with these. So go to file, export multiple, and it brings up this little window here. Now, under Export Format, this has to be WAV, Microsoft Signed 16-Bit PCM. You want to make sure you're splitting the files based on tracks, check Overwrite Existing Files, and name the files using Label slash Track Name. Now, under Export Location, hit Choose. And you're going to need to find, once again, that correct folder for your audio files within the Skyrim directory. So here it is. Just press OK. Now all that's left is to hit export, and there we go, we've compressed and normalised all our audio files. So now we've done all that, let's take Jacuzzi for a spin! Well here we are back in the frozen hearth, and here's Jacuzzi! Hello! Follow me, I need your help. These one will follow gladly. Glad to hear it! I need to trade some things with you. Certainly. Let us trade. Hmm, let's see, I've got an iron helmet? Ah, very fetching. Um, it's time for us to part ways. This one will see you again soon, yes? Oh, I've changed my mind. Follow me, I need your help. This one will follow gladly. Wait here. Khajiit will wait. Very good. And there's the objective. Good, good, good. So, uh, follow me. Khajiit will be right behind you. Marvellous. And finally, I need you to do something for me. Certainly. What would you like this one to do? And there we are! It all seems to work! And that's all we've got time for today! If you found this video helpful, please do subscribe to the channel and leave me a like. And tune in next time, where we're going to be fleshing out Jacuzzi's dialogue a little bit more by teaching him to say hello! Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye!